I have some advice for people today. If you do videos, please stay calm and don't have a sense of humor. Don't show any emotions and don't give your opinion. Everything is deadly serious. I don't know why anybody would try to make fun or light of the situation. I turned it down a notch. My robotoidism. This is my true colors. I swear. Uh, I was bought as a little boy. I mean, yeah, I'm sorry. My sister remembers me being bought as a robotoid. Remember, Don? I was just a little robotoid. Like five years old. Oh crap. I forgot. I can't help it sometimes. I've been programmed this way. Everything seems to be a joke. Because it kind of is. You remember the store done. Robotoids are us. I was five years old in the making, sitting on the shelf. I didn't have, uh, I wasn't programmed yet to talk. That's why I didn't talk for the first five years because they didn't put the talking program into my robotoid ears. Uh, I think YouTube was pretty boring with everybody telling the news. So I kind of got on there to make fun of the clowns that are f flying away with the wind and the s and the rain and the and the hurricanes. I really got to catch myself because I'm turning into a humanoid. That one guy from a while ago, you remember that dude, yo? He was right, I am a Rebatoid. He told you guys to stay the F away from my channel. Well, because he knew where I was purchased at. I was purchased at Robotoids R Us back in 1981 when I was five. Uh, somewhere around this time of the year after my birth. I, I mean, uh, after my creation day this has been my 42nd creation day that I've celebrated with my electronics sorry guys YouTube is pretty lame. Nobody has senses of humor. Everybody 
kind of talks like this. And if somebody is trying to make light of the situation, well, they sound foolish. I know. I am a fool too. I get it. I, I know. I heard it before. Why is he talking like a robotoid? What is wrong with Robin, the robot? Robotoid. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. Sometimes my humanism -oid, my humanoidism is kicking in. I'm a robotoid. I can't be real. Or else I would have melted down like nine months ago. That just proves that I'm not human. Because any freaking human would have melted down already. Seriously, though, uh, I have some advice for people. When it comes to, uh, yeah, these next few weeks here, going into next month, after the peace and safety treaty talk, after, I, I'm, I'm just going to assume that Trump's going to shake hands with Netanyahu and, and be like, Yahoo, we're, we're peace and safety, guys, everything's great. And, of course, sudden destruction is not going to happen immediately. It would be too easy. So my advice would be... Uh, so from September 25th... Which is seven days away. In seven days, guys, we have seven days... Until, the, until there's world peace. So until then, I think... I mean, I was programmed to think that, so you have to, when you're a robotoid, right, you learn to adjust to be a human, and then you kind of take on the, I figured if I, because everybody that is pretty much on YouTube is just, um, the monotone is just boring as hell, so I figured as a robotoid, I would, I would pretend that I have a sense of humor because that, that would really throw people off. I mean, people really wouldn't acute. Not that many people would know. But that one dude, boy, he knew, yo. I mean, he didn't even know who I was. I was just some creature. But I mean, he apparently he he must have been part of the the company that made me. So he was just letting you guys know. I'm just I'm not human. All right. There's no way I can be human and take all this abuse, all this gsing. Yo, yo, you GSing me, dude. TIs and GSs. Oh, yeah, back to my advice. Or my programmed advice that I was programmed to tell you after my 42nd uh, creation, created, celebrated birthday is that we should all cut down on everything. Just cut down. Cut down on this. Cut down on that. Do without a little bit of this. And do without a little bit of that. Because, uh, well, when everything is shut down, and you're going to kind of be more used to it instead of freaking out. I mean, the main thing is food. Because we're so used to being hungry. So next time, uh, you know, I'm, which reminds me, I think I'm going to take a lollipop. Wait a minute. Let me put it down for 30 minutes. I'll get back to it. Okay? That urge, and then uh, 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 pull that urge out, pull it back, and it, just deny, deny your flesh. That's what, that's, it's not new advice. Even, I remember Justin was saying this before that you should do, even with water, not that you should thirst yourself to death, but just do a little bit longer. 
your natural um, instinct to grab something, just just wait a few minutes. Like wait, just deny it. That's all. When you're when you're when it's in front of you, deny it. Uh, that way you can kind of get used to. Um, get get used to. I'm losing my mind. That way you can kind of get used to uh, doing without. We got to get used to doing without. And you know what else? Um, maybe I should do another video about this. I'm gonna make this one short. Okay. I'm just going to shorten this one up a little bit. Just here to get a sandwich. Just like, same thing with me. Alright, I'll see you later at 11.11, alright?